All righty, good morning. I am Councilmember Donovan Richards from the 31st District in Queens, Southeast Queens that is, and I'm the Chair of the Public Safety Committee. Uh, we are joined this morning by Councilmembers Brannon, Deutsch, Powers, Menchaca, Cohen, Miller, and Cabrera. We are here to take up one last piece of legislation introduced at the joint hearing we held a few weeks ago on the potential statewide legalization of marijuana. Unfortunately, there was no legalization bill passed along with the state budget, but I am hopeful that there are signs that Albany intends to take time outside of their hectic budget process to craft a bill that not only legalizes marijuana, but devotes a sizable share of the economic opportunity from the new legal cannabis industry to the individuals in communities most harmed by the war on drugs. For now, all we can do is try to minimize the negative consequences of marijuana prohibition, beginning with incarceration. People who are on probation have been given a chance to rehabilitate and find a path to, be, to a successful law-abiding life instead of being held back by time wasted in jail. While, we're, while we are working to decrease the population on Rikers, we should be finding reasons to keep probationers out of the system, not looking for more hurdles to trip them up and set them back. As we are hopefully on the verge of legalizing marijuana and recognizing that adults using marijuana is simply not criminal or wrong, we should stop testing probationers who are doing what they need to do to stay out of trouble. Introduction number 1427, which I am co-sponsoring, which I am sponsoring along with my colleagues, would prevent the Department of Probation from requiring individuals on probation to submit marijuana testing unless a determination is made that abstinence from marijuana is necessary to leading a law-abiding life. The passage of this bill would help close one trapdoor that too many people have fallen into while working to lead a better life for themselves and their families. Remember, these are people who are otherwise not violating their probation conditions. That means they are working or seeking work, avoiding police contact, and following all the conditions set out for them by their probation officers. These are people who don't need marijuana testing to keep them on a straight path. The only thing marijuana testing can do is risk getting them violated and sent back to jail. And last year we saw over 200, nearly 300 of those individuals sent back to jail. And for those who really do need to be abstinent, there is a narrow, let me say that again, a narrow exception to allow for testing. Last year, five former probation commissioners expressed a need to change the marijuana testing policy. When five former city probation commissioners and Chief Judge Lippman agree that testing people who are on probation for marijuana serves no public safety purpose, it's time we stop doing it. I rest my case. With that being said, we will open the vote. Lee Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on public safety. Introduction 1427, Chair Richards. I vote aye. Cabrera. Permission to explain my vote? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate uh, your bill. Uh, let me just say for the record, as you know, I'm not for the legalizing marijuana statewide, at least at this point in time. Uh, but uh, this bill makes a lot of sense. Uh, I don't think that on just on the basis of, of someone that is in probation, who's trying to work, who's trying to do the right thing, many of them that we work personally work with, uh, that this should be sent back. I don't think it's productive. I don't think what happens in our prisons uh, really help them uh, in their future. Uh, and, and so for that, uh, for that reason, uh, I, again, I want to commend you for this bill. Uh, I think it's going to help uh, the 600 and also the stipulation that is placed here uh, that if the department of probation or the judge seem uh, deem it necessary uh, based on their particular circumstances uh, to put that stipulation, 
uh, that uh, dye stipulation, I think, is very, very helpful, uh, which in turn will help uh, that uh, person who is in probation. And with that, I vote aye. Cohen. Aye. Deutsch. Permission to explain my vote? Yes, sir. So although um, I am opposed to uh, legalization of marijuana, but I do believe in giving people a second chance. Um, so at uh, this time, I'll vote aye. Menchaca. Please add me to the bill as a co-sponsor, and I vote aye. Miller. Permission to explain my vote, please? Yes, sir. Um, I, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Chair, for once again your leadership on this marijuana conversation, a conversation not just about marijuana legalization, but more importantly about marijuana policy. As you can see by the votes that have already been entered into, my colleagues here who, who clearly have been opposed to the legalization of marijuana, but we have had robust, beneficial conversation about policy of marijuana that has disproportionately impacted communities of color. And this certainly is a remedy towards that. This is just another thing that, that, that hinders communities, not just those individuals, but their lack of um, progress and upward mobility um, that has been diminished because of these marijuana-related either convictions or ongoing um, subsequent um, parole violations because of marijuana is definitely a hinder, not just to those individuals, but to the communities that have already been disproportionately impacted. And I think because we have had really robust conversation about the impact that we can get to a point that whether or not we agree to legalization, we agree on policy that has been disproportionate and it had bad impacts on certain communities throughout. And with that, I, I gladly vote aye. Thank you. Thank you for your leadership as well, Councilmember Miller, on this one. Brennan. I vote aye. Powers. Aye. By a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, introduction 1427 has been adopted by the committee. We'll keep the vote open for another five minutes. <laughs> 